This book has gained over 23.5 million views on TikTok and currently has over 29,000 ratings on Goodreads. What's more insane is that this book was originally self-published. The massive hype has led this book to being picked up by Tor Books, who have now re-edited this book and given it a new cover. This book is now receiving lots of fancy special editions and is receiving a lot of hype. So the question is, is this TikTok sensation worth the hype? Let's talk about it. Tor Books very kindly sent me an arc of the Atlas 6 by Olivia Blake. I hadn't really heard that much about this book until a couple of months ago. I don't have a TikTok and I'm probably not the primary target audience for this book, hence why I hadn't heard about it. According to the blurb on the art copy, this TikTok sensation has over 15 million views. That is just crazy. I just checked and it's actually closer to 24 million views now. I don't use TikTok and I haven't seen this book floating around the internet that much. Yeah, I know, right? I don't have TikTok. That's pretty mad. Well, technically I do, but I don't use it. I thought I would take a look at some of the TikToks that have made this book so popular to gain a better understanding of how this book became so famous. Okay, let's see what's out there. <laughs> that is absolutely hilarious. Let's try and remake that one. Who did it better? I literally have no idea what that TikTok was, but it was definitely funny. It didn't make any sense. <laughs> Did that TikTok convince you to pick up the book? What is she wearing? <laughs> I love that. I have no idea what she's wearing, but I just love that feeling when a book is able to consume so much that it becomes a character trait. Let's see what else is there. What's this? Okay, I like it, Picasso. Yes, I love when illustrations are included in books. Unfortunately, my art copy didn't have any illustrations, but it's definitely a very nice touch. Okay, what's up with people going crazy over the illustrations? I mean, they're fine. I don't really get it, but I might not be the target market for this book. Let's look at one more. I'm sorry, what? The energy levels what? are very high. Ha who, who has read The Atlas Six? I need everyone who's read the Atlas 6 to report for duty pronto. Just finished. Just finished this guy. I'm reporting for duty, but the energy levels are a bit too high for me on this one. So obviously people on TikTok seem to love this book, but judging from those TikToks, I don't really understand why I should pick up this book. I suppose the characters are hot. That might be a good enough reason for you to pick up a book, but for me that is not good enough. Okay, let's start talking about this book. I was obviously incredibly excited when I received an arc of this book since it seemed to be a much loved book. Also the hype for this book has been immense. It's been receiving a lot of different special editions which have been sold out very quickly and as mentioned TikTok loves this book. So what did I think? I usually love it when I don't know anything about a book before picking it up. However in the case of the Atlas 6 I actually wish that I knew a bit about it before reading it. If I knew that this book would have this much romance and be kind of YA, I probably wouldn't have picked up this book. I haven't seen this book being marketed as YA, but the way it portrayed the characters felt YA to me. However, this book does have sex and some adult aspects to it, so I'm not really sure exactly what this book should be classified as. Firstly, I love the premise of this book. The Atlas 6 is set in a world where the Library of Alexandra still exists, and some people are born with supernatural powers. This book follows six people who are exceptionally gifted. This group has been selected to become a part of the Alexandrian society. They can become caretakers of the lost knowledge from ancient civilizations and enter an elitist academic magical group. However, although six are chosen, only five will walk away. Now, how cool does that sound? I must give Blake credit for coming up with the idea for this book because it's very clever. Moreover, I also love how magic is portrayed in this book. Having magical powers doesn't necessarily make you a part of the elite. You would always imagine that having magical powers would automatically make you wealthy. However, that is not the case in this world. These magicians, or medians as it's called in this book, still have to fight to gain influence. Although they have an advantage, like having magical powers, magic doesn't automatically grant you an easy path through life. Also, these characters have different magical abilities and come from diverse backgrounds. Olivia Blake does a fantastic job at creating fascinating character dynamics and conflicts by giving these characters different magical abilities. Some of the characters have stronger abilities and some weaker, which creates this constant 
power struggle. How Blake sets up the character dynamics is probably one of my favorite aspects of this book. You constantly have characters fighting for power or having conflicts and it was fascinating to see how magic played a key role in trying to get an advantage. So Olivia Blake, good job on creating interesting character dynamics. Also, I really enjoyed Blake's writing style. It's not overly flowery, but it's not extremely accessible either. It was like a really nice balance between very accessible and flowery writing. So Blake is definitely a very talented author. So before we go into the things I didn't like, let's summarize what I loved about this book. Firstly, the premise of this book is absolutely fascinating. Secondly, you have some really great and interesting character dynamics. Thirdly, the prose is beautiful and I really enjoyed Blake's writing style. However, I had several issues with this book. Firstly, I didn't find any of the characters that likable. All the characters are power hungry and quite egoistic. I suppose it makes sense to become self-centered when you are told that you're one of the top six best medians or magicians in this world. However, having these characters act so selfishly made it difficult for me to actually like them. And that brings me back to why I love Joe Abercrombie, as you can see here. Now you can write narcissistic or egoistic characters, but still get the reader invested in their story. Okay, I'm going off track, but did you know that all my Joe Abercrombie books here are signed? I met him in September and he signed my whole collection, but that's a story for another day. But why am I talking about Joe Abercrombie? Abercrombie, he writes horrendous characters who are narcissistic, evil, but you still root for them. An author has to be able to give the reader a reason to get invested in their story and unfortunately Blake wasn't able to do that for me. The only character I really liked was Estra. I'm not going to be talking about each character due to spoilers but Estra was my favorite by far. And this brings me to the second point. I also didn't enjoy how this book portrays sex and almost romanticizes unfaithfulness. Halfway through this book there is a scene where a character is unfaithful and this horrendous act is almost depicted as liberating and a praiseworthy act. That scene made me so angry that I almost DNF this book. I absolutely can't stand it when someone glamorizes unfaithfulness. If you don't love someone, then please just break off. Okay, I have to call myself because this is turning into a rant. Let me make it clear. I do not say that Blake romanticizes unfaithfulness because there's obviously a difference between what an author believes and what a character does in a fictional book. So don't think I'm saying that Olivia Blake says being unfaithful is a good thing. However, the character who is unfaithful tries to justify her actions and it's just, it's so stupid. I will reiterate, just break up first, please. It's not that hard. I am this close to going on a huge rant, so I'll try to contain myself and move on to the next point. But yes, this book has sex and unfaithfulness, and it's not depicted in a good way in my opinion. Also, the character Parisa is such a horrible character. While I enjoy morally grey and complex characters, I couldn't find a single redeeming thing about Parisa. Parisa is manipulative, narcissistic and rude, and it's actually really problematic in my opinion. Due to spoilers, I won't be talking about why I think she's problematic, but I definitely think that TikTok needs to have a wider discussion about Parisa because her actions are just wow. That being said, I did find the first 130 pages and the last 40 pages to be really entertaining and fascinating. Blake does a fantastic job at introducing the main characters and the plot and I was really interesting from the very first page. Also, the conclusion was so well paced and had some really great plot twists. If you're gonna read this book then I would almost recommend trying to get to the end because I believe that the ending might actually change your opinion about the whole book. So in conclusion, I do understand why some people love this book. The Atlas Six has a fascinating concept, it has morally great characters and really interesting character dynamics. However, the unlikable characters and how sex is depicted lessen my enjoyment of this book. So should you read this book? Well, I can imagine that most of my audience who are primarily interested in adult fantasy will not love this book. However, this is a much loved book and there are definitely aspects to it that are great. So I would say that you should read it and find out yourself. It seems like I'm in the minority when it comes to my opinions about this book and I do acknowledge that I'm probably not the main target for this book. I'm therefore giving this book a 3 out of 5 star rating which means that it's an average book. It's not necessarily bad but it's not great either. I want to give a special thanks to Tor and Black Crow for sending me a physical copy in exchange for an honest review. I really appreciate it. So are you gonna read this book or have you already read it? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. And before I finish this video, I'm currently running a giveaway for this beautiful book. It's signed, it has beautiful sprayed edges. So if you're interested, then check out this video here. 
I'll also leave a link in the description down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I really appreciate it.